Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Uh, this is uh, your this is for Saka. And um, what I want to say, so I'm playing you, this one, one minute, seven uh, seconds. What is true? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, if uh, there is uh, people who are serious with this country, uh, for now, it's you and uh, President Winter uh, when you come on the radio, you come, uh, you are speaking from uh, 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 the television and so on and so forth. You two guys were making sense, sense such that team. Uh, to have leaders like you, I think it's a blessing. I think what I can tell you, uh, sit down with the President Winter Kalimba, and then you work together and uh, you change this country. Because to be honest with you, these guys from UPND, they have failed, completely failed, because they are all liars. Liars, like I don't know, starting from the president and Jukuri Kadawa, all of them they are liars. So please help us. All right, uh, let me play the last two voice notes uh, so that we can be wrapping up this uh, discussion. Good morning, this is George Kondafula here from the Compartel TK12. I would just like to thank the president. All right. Uh, I play another voice note here. Uh, I will only take two minutes of this voice note. It is beyond that. Good morning. Also to contribute on this uh, beautiful program. Um, one thing I want to talk about is about uh, politicians. Uh, what I've come to understand now is that uh, politicians, they are not change people's lives because all of them, they come with same stories, same messages, and yet when we vote for them, they go to state down they forget everything. All they just now concentrate on is on how they should make money and pay back the people that helped them to give favors to their friends and so on and so forth. The Zambian people in this time for elections, they just used. And then after they get what they want, they dump the people. When you look at UPND, they were condemning PF, saying that they are failed, they are corrupt, they are just, you know, employing their relatives. And this is exactly what is happening. In European dinner, uh, Mr. Karaba, he was in PF, he left PF because of, uh, he was saying PF was corrupt, there was no democracy. He went and joined the uh, European D. And today again, he's telling us, no, UPND is corrupt, the PF was better. So I don't know how you can trust such people. The only thing that can be done, Zambians should wake up, never to listen to these uh, politicians, more especially these uh, old politicians who have been in the system for so many years. As a nation, we have to start retiring these people. All right, your two minutes is done. Uh, let me play the last uh, voice note here uh, so that we can wrap up uh, the discussion. Welcome, Mr. Director. Jonah. 
Pagateka. Avaji niko marungu. Before the shedding. Vaji ushetaru. Chonso kwe vati. Ame ishimu kariba damu. Nae chepa. And for my friend, I can't tell you about the free. But the current president said this is due to poor management. Now, today, what is the problem? Now, due to poor management, we are there, we are now. All right. So those are the submissions that have come through via WhatsApp, voice note. Uh, I'll allow President uh, Kalaba to respond. Uh, thank you, Thomas. Uh, first of all, uh, there was a first caller who had said that uh, we need to give a lot of tribute to President Daka in the Chilema because uh, he has been in government and is not getting paid. That's a blue lie. That's a big lie. President Chilema is being paid and he gets paid. What he has only forfeited, if at all he has, is a small component of his presidency. The president doesn't buy food, and guess who didn't know? Food is free for a president and a vice president. Even water, even any drink he wants is free. So has he forfeited that? No, he has not. The president is always traveling with an entourage of not less than 25 vehicles from community house to state house every morning and going back. Just like that. The amount of fuel he is spending on that is a lot. Then there is route lining. Up to route lining from his house up to state house. Route lining. That's an expense. So when you say the president is not getting paid, sometimes just keep quiet because it, it doesn't help much. The president is getting paid and getting paid heavily. Right now is in Washington, D.C. He has been paid to go to Washington. He has not gone for free. He's living in a hotel. Who has paid for it? It is you, the taxpayers. You have paid for it. So he, he's being paid every day. So this talk of of saying no, he's not paid to it. That's just, he is paid. And then there is uh, Adam, but you that you should sit down with Comrade Winter Kabimba mm -hmm. because if you and if you don't have some of the issues, thank you very much. I think I have a lot of respect for President Kabimba, uh, and I think I also suspect his respect for me. We talk a lot with President Kabimba. Uh, when we were announcing the name of our party, Thomas, we invited President Kabimba. Mm -hmm. He was there with us to support us. And uh, he's a level-headed person. Uh, he's a man of his word. He will not say this in the night and say a different thing in the dark. He doesn't operate like that. He's like me to that, um, that extent. Uh, so, yes, me and President Kabimba are talking and will be talking. And we would want to continue working together until we have elections. Uh, but George, uh, thank you very much for those niceties about me. I think he was mm -hmm. uh, saying I'm the best and things yeah. like that. But I, I can only be good by George if people like you come around me and begin advising me why you think I'm not doing right. Come, we work together. But Ambassador Kanyama, uh, uh, was saying uh, no politician will ever change people's mm -hmm. lives. That I don't agree. Uh, you know, the problem people have mm -hmm. is that they use the current <clears throat> president as a standard. They use him as a standard, but mm -hmm. thinking that whatever he was saying was so mm -hmm. pure mm -hmm. and that all of us should be at that standard. There was no standard which was even presented. All the president knew was to criticize. Whoever told him that was the way to do politics was wrong. Sometimes learn to appreciate your friends the way we do that's when we see there's something which is good we do like when i went to Mpika, if you remember thomas uh, when i was not harassed i told the nation that i've left in Pika, mm -hmm. and the police have not harassed me this is as it should be i acknowledge it when i was harassed in kalulush uh, when the police came and got me out from the house almost throwing a tear gas 
Uh, when I was having lunch and they went and detained me in Kalurushi at the police station, the public saw for themselves that, ah, so what happened last time is not what is happening now. They were just pretending. And if there was anything, I should have praised them over that incident of Ogunjigata. What could I have said? There's nothing to say. So when you say all politicians are the same, nobody Jesus feel okay, sir. Stop talking like that because you use that. He's not. Give us also a chance to see. You cannot say Pantu, Nadu Pokmo, Melodia, Ale Noa, Kashi won't say about Mavalan, one won't say no more, no matter what Pokmo, Melody won't say, Pantu Savalan. You can't conclude. In logic, in philosophy, it is called you are making a very wrong inference. You cannot depart like that in reasoning. You have to understand that I want to marry Pusana. The Tumba Patikishi, Quadrava de Milonge, Avantua Movene, Amitava de Milonge. But we are not the same. Some have not been in government. Just understand and agree, Ambassador Kanyama. The person you thought you would do it. The time you have to do it, you have to do it. 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 You have we munta wa upwa bo, no nga supiki no kuba chimbosa. Chaka na. So bakanyama, this is what we are seeing now. And bakanyama, I was not. I have never been in uh, UPND myself. Never. When you say no, he left PF because of uh, I left PF and I said the reasons. They're still there. I didn't agree with the way the fight against corruption was going. I didn't agree with the style of management. It ended there, and I resigned. A year. After they won elections. The elections were won in, in 2016. In 2017, I resigned. When they still had four years to go, I did not want to be part of it. And uh, I have not regretted that decision. But uh, John, but we have the pilot shading of President Morgan Stavey in Nakanwakawa. Lord Shading, are you paying in our equation? It tells you the president says things. <coughs> without thinking through things. The president says things without analyzing issues. How do you say we have finished load shedding in August? In December, your Minister of Energy contracts, contrasts your statement and says, we'll be having six hours load shedding. Every six hours, you know, we had 10 hours. Baka chula abantu, haba kwa yotu masa luntu nomu. Baka lelanda pepa president, but if baka tulema kutila mwene, energy sector, we should unbundle it. We need to begin allowing local citizens to begin producing energy. Even ka one megawatt, akwata, vazesu kwa wafila tampo kula ashita. From individuals like that, it happens in many countries. If people will open it up, we also want to go geothermal. We also want to go uh, solar. We also want to go. Uh, we also want wind propelled energy. To learn for our analyze for our diversity of energy sources, we need to invest in that. Rwanda today is boasting of having uh, most of its people having uh, uh, even ourselves as citizens first. We have intention of ensuring that we diversify the energy sector. We are going to unbundle Zesco. Not what they're doing. They were laughing at their friends as uh, Ambassador Kanyama said. Uh, no, uh, they're employing their relatives. Look at them. For them, it is even worse. All right. Look at the appointments in the foreign service that have been made, Thomas. It's worse. All right. Um, yesterday, you were on the TV, and of course, earlier on, we saw um, a briefing with regards to just you discussing uh, the issues within the country. And one important aspect that came out of that was with regards to the call that you made, that probably with what you've seen, we've seen on the ground, uh, we might need an eddy election. With only 16 months of the current government in power, would you feel, would, would you say that this is the right time for us to start making... So special about having any elections. 
what's so uh, what's so difficult? It is. It has only been six ten months. But look, you people, you had least trust. Least trust in the UK. Least trust in the UK was busy making promises. The way President Akainde Chile was making promises here. When she became Prime Minister, she realized <laughs> those promises she, were made, that she was making, she would not fulfill them. Because she has integrity. Because Liz Truss has integrity for herself and she respects the people. She resigned after 46 days. After 46 days, not 16 months, after 46 days, she said, I'm resigned. <clears throat> and what did she do? She went back to the Conservative Party. She went back to the Conservative Party and said, can you please choose another person? That is what I want to people who have got integrity, people who know that they, will not, they don't want the country to serve, that's what they do. In Pakistan, in Pakistan, you had the guy called Imran Khan. Imran Khan was President H.H. actually. They stayed together for a very long time in the opposition. But Imran Khan was inexperienced because he had never been in government. Like our president is inexperienced, has never been in government. So what happened was Imran Khan, parliament, because they are, their country is parliament, after two and a half years, they sat down as parliament and said, mm -mm, we are not receiving drugs in hospitals. We are not receiving fertilizer as farmers. We are not going, we are not getting bursaries as students in the universities. What should we do? They said, for us to be getting this, let's get somebody with experience. That is how they kicked out Imran Khan after two and a half years. So what's so special here when we say, no, we can have any elections? It's like, oh, Akaraba, I have my elections. Oh, what you want to come Makumba? Yo, what you Makumba? Yo, what No. When somebody has not performed, there's nothing wrong in you saying, I think for me, uh, I've got integrity, I've got, let me, uh, because you told people fertilizer was going to be 200. As support. President Hitchin, I'm a failed. Okay, for you, as he succeeded. I'm asking you, you, you are here talking. as a respondent. But you are the one who is asking those questions as he failed. President yes, Hitchin, I'm, because, uh, I'm telling uh -huh. you, Thomas, uh -huh. that the price of millimil, people are rationing immediately. Avantu Valeria and Umbalanchi, Valeria of Mustin Fed, Pautia Lanchi, if we have a boat lunch and supper. One hundred and seventy, Valley to Evade, Utila Ufo Abung, Ukawa seventy, Ukawa fifty watch. No, no, but it's not fifty watch. I'm a footer, I'm a footer. They are increasing the price of fuel every month. We have told them as citizens first, Thomas. Why are you bringing in these taka taka tankers? Every month you're bringing in tankers. Every month tankers. Why can't you buy the hydrocarbon cracker at Indian? So Indian becomes a refinery. When Dr. Kaunda created that Indian, he knew exactly what he wanted. He understood. So he knew not every day is a Wednesday. Some days it to be rainy. Some days it to be windy. Some days it to be sunny. For every day about Krizen is going to help us. What we require is to have a bulk reserve. We will not afford. If we have a carbon, uh, a hydrocarbon crack, we can even get oil from Angola, crude from Angola. And then we come and refine it here. Now, we don't have it. We are still getting oil from Saudi Arabia. We are still getting oil from Ukraine. Still getting oil from Russia. And we expect our fuel to become cheaper. Why can't Zambia begin having several refineries? We intend to have at least not less than four refineries when we take over government. Because when we had Indeni, when we had Indeni, the population of Zambia was only about maybe five, four million people. Today, we have about 20 million people and we only still have one facility called Indeni. And we are just saying, 58 years after independence. We need to be practical as a country. To let you share more than two because of lack of vision. And the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. We even know how our friends are living. But Namibia, Namibia, a small country, they have verified. But Botswana they have. 
But Zimbabwe, you've been laughing at Zimbabwe. Oh, but Zimbabwe, uh, they're not going. But Zimbabwe, they're doing much better than yourself. <coughs> because Zimbabwe has got a bulk reserve. They have a bulk reserve, but Zimbabwe, you don't have. You have, you have continued doing deals. Even what the, your friends left, you have closed it. So you can be making deals out of the shipment of crude coming in the country. Then they are telling me the story that Minister of Energy. They have told you, Ukutira, Kuala Wa Lord Shading. They'll be Lord Shading starting 15th December. But President in August, he was telling us, Ukutira, by UPND, now Abomba na Maka, within one year, now Abusha Lord Shading. If that is not a lie, he was telling us. What is that? At all. When I Abomba Lord Shading, Pantu Arila, and I'm August, that now you poor. So Lord Shading, now Abomba. Because they have brought Lord Shading, now I share my light South Africa, and very far to it, order will not do that. Nakan, I never told us. We were told by our colleagues that when they come, they were going to ensure that uh, there were jobs for everybody. What we have seen is that the ones who are enjoying are foreigners in this country. It is outsiders. If there is a party that loves people coming from outside, it is this UPND guy, uh, guys. They are supporting foreigners without, uh, without uh, being apologetic. Remember that they gave those foreigners in uh, Kalumbila, the ones who are running Kalumbila, Lumwana, Kansanshi, they gave them five years tax holidays. We lost as a country, we lost about 4.3 billion US dollars because of that revenue which uh, they have forfeited. The same ones who have lost 4.3 billion, they go to the IMF and get 1.3 billion dollars, and they expect you, Thomas, and myself, to be clapping for them that you have worked. Forget it. We want people that are going to come into the field and begin interrogating how governance should work. Oh, yeah. Why should a country like Zambia, mm -hmm. which has got copper, <coughs> a country like Zambia? which has got emeralds, mm -hmm. a country like Zambia, which has got uh, all kinds of precious uh, minerals, why should we be going with a begging bowl to the international community? It's simply because we don't understand. And our colleagues never took time to understand how the minds can help us move from one point to another. All right. Well, let's say that President Kalaba, allow me to surely um, uh, head into the conversation as uh, we start scrutinizing the um, uh, 16 months of the UPND submission with regards to that. From your end, how do you describe uh, the UPND's administration in six months? It's been catastrophic. Catastrophic of the highest proportions. You feel so? Very catastrophic in every sense of the word. How do you describe a government? That kept citizens for 10 months, 10 months, without procuring drugs in hospitals. They said they were doing a forensic audit in order for them to see how the deals were being done uh, during the procurement process of the, of the previous regime. In those 10 months, many people died because they could not access drugs. In those 10 months, Many people have lost their body parts, so many people have not recovered from the illnesses that they had suffered from because they could not get medication on time. What type of a government is that? Then they are telling you, no, we are being methodical. They are not being methodical. They are businessmen. This is the problem of having a businessman to lead a country. Because everything they are doing, they are looking at the perspective of what benefit can I get from it. The only reason they took 10 months without procuring medicine for the people of Zambia was because they wanted to bring their friends to become experts in procuring medicines. But unfortunately for them, for the pharmaceutical world, it doesn't work like that when you're procuring drugs. Those are drugs, eh? It's not like just buying sweets from a shop. You have to have a history. You have to have an understanding with why you're procuring those drugs. 10 months we were not having drugs in hospitals. It's a first in the history of this country. It is under the UPND government that we have seen the most disastrous fertilizer distribution exercise ever witnessed by a country 
that keeps on propagating uh, the fact that Zambia has been a mono economy and we need to diversify. We have seen that our farmers received the first batch of fertilizer one week after the rains had already started. Those who were lucky. Most people have not yet received fertilizer up to today as we speak, 13th December. They have not yet received the fertilizers from a government that calls itself methodical. Poverty has kicked in. And as we go into next year, Avantubala Mbogchula, Avantubala Chula, Insala ya isa mchalo chesu. Mula nduwa kana ishwo. Imi teke shi isuma. Ya kana languni. And the biggest problem that we have is that this government, especially the president, he knows it all. It's a one-man show. Even if you ask, you hardly hear ministers defending the president. They have all kept quiet. Nga wabe pishanista mule landila. Lando kuti like his bad manners ukula anda angolelia. They are busy eating. And the president is busy uh, doing it alone. Because it's a one-man show. So, so, and you want to pretend mm -hmm. that, you know, they have scored, they have scored this and that. In theories, this they have. Because they talk too much. So, from, from, from your end, President Kalaba, there's nothing that the UPND government has done in 16 months. Okay, what have they done? Uh, the little uh, they have uh, done, uh, uh, Luke Thomas, mm -hmm. the little they have done is so little... The good they have done is so little right. that it, 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 it is not even worth mentioning here. In the history of Zambia, we saw the first recruitment of over 30,000 teachers by government that you are saying that there is nothing... When they are recruiting those 30,000 teachers, Andrew Thomas, you are learning. Mm -hmm. Those 30,000 teachers they are recruiting, are they going to be teaching under, under trees? That's a government. I told you I've, been, I've worked in government myself. Mm -hmm. That is part of the government establishment. Even if it was the previous regime which was there, mm -hmm. because they had finished building schools. That's how it was. First you build classroom blocks. Mm -hmm. After you build classroom blocks, then you begin now sending teachers there. Look, I was member of parliament for Bahati. As if you go to Bahati Constituents today, mm -hmm. there's a school called Kalanga Day High School, which I commenced building. In 2011, when I was elected member of parliament, mm -hmm. the school finished some uh, some three years ago. Because the school has finished, people have been deployed to go and work there. Mm -hmm. It's because there's an infrastructure. No, but let's move on to hotel. Umuntu aliupa, alisunga makashiba kwe, elo ashito bunga, elo moeva tu umuntu wa umesana. The Bible says husbands mm -hmm. love your wives as Christ loved the church. His nature was to love us. That was his primary function. Was to die for us. And we thank God that that thing happened. Mm-hmm. Government. Kutwala health service delivery. Kubantu. So, 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 Mm -hmm. But Minister Vale Pokama allowances ya my entertainment. Vale Pokama allowances ya fuel. Vale Pokama housing allowance. Elo vaya padia. Vasangava now vali wombaka if I won't bele. Elo vatuala chavango muntu. Asanga and the wali gula kale. No mufula kale wa pango mufula. Asa vika mufi chivi. E ungalanda tinga and dianti ne wana kuri. It doesn't work like that. Elo mufa nando muto tela wala vikam fe chivi. Wa upo mwa na kachua kwa tefu muka ni. Adi kwa tefu muka dali imita. Elu wa mweta panga natu wa upa. Ushu mwa na ude wa ala fi alwa. Wala wa lewi vilisha kupenda mu. Akubeka la mpala mula zizi kwa tomu wa nanebo. Ni mferandi mwa umi. Kute kanya. Bada ama ingile balia. It is an establishment. Na kambi di mkwa mfati kuri ama recruitment ya maskojazi. Kuna ama recruitment ya waka pokona. Mwata mpo kulu mbati o. Waka pokona ba ingila. Kashita mapia funga tawafu minepo. Kaino wale ingisha makada zibabu. 
Why live in The argument is with numbers as well. The argument is with numbers as well. So, so from what you've said, uh, President Kalaba, of course, in as much as uh, um, you've given the justification that, okay, well, this is the responsibility of government with regard to recruitment. Without the government's uh, commitment to ensure that uh, the issue of unemployment is reduced in the country, we wouldn't have seen the numbers that were recruited in the education sector, Thomas. in the health sector. That's but something Thomas. that you are worth recognizing that, well, in the country Zambia, we have a problem of unemployment, but and many youths are resorting to... Um, the job of government, mm -hmm. and I challenge any government expert mm -hmm. to come and challenge me here. Okay. The job of government is not to employ. The job of government is to create an enabling environment for the private sector to create jobs. Because naturally, government is only a facilitator. Mm -hmm. Government only facilitates so that the private sector, like yourselves in the media, it is the job of government to ensure that you have got conditions that are good, to enable you to work properly in the media industry, so that you can employ more people. We don't know our government. That's why Chulwa used to say government has got no business in doing business. <laughs> because my government, my friend, our secretariat, a small team to ensure Shemu agriculture, our farmers, are they receiving these things well? I'm a policy to Pangini. Ushana are they favorable? Amu trade. Amu nani mushtantan trading around. Ushana our people, are they trading properly within the boundaries of commerce? Or within the boundaries of, of SADIC. Ushaman uh, Tresu, those who are involved in car dealing, all the sectors where government will be able to show that the sectors they are running well. Their job is not to employ. Government's job is to create an enabling environment. Yes. But I'm going to ask you Thomas. I'm going to ask you about That is why. Chali lingo kutashia anga wa ya mchifulo. Chali lingo kutashia epo wa sanga jama novali wumba. Ini oro na ali deputy minister. Oro na ali MP first. Wakupa. As a member of parliament. And we continued with it. When I became deputy minister in the office of the vice president. Valung. Edgar Lungu, the former president, was a deputy minister. I took over from him. If you remember, Lungu was still in the office, and we continued. When I was minister of foreign affairs, foreign affairs, what Wubasi Musa did in foreign affairs, it's too much. If it doesn't it's it's a spirit of leadership. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.